Hey everyone, this is Ryan with Love Farm Tennessee. Um, I wanted to do a bit of an updated video. Um, we covered how to make biochar a few videos ago, or at least one way of making biochar, and a little bit about the benefits. Now I'm going to talk about using it. So um, we're putting it into implementation today. We're putting it in where we normally would, and I want to explain how and why we do that. Turn off the news and build a garden. Just my neighborhood and me. We might feel a bit less hard. We might feel a bit more free. So I am in the chicken run uh, that we do deep litter both in the coop and in the run. Um, meaning we put free wood chips down in the run. It's been about a year and a half that uh, we've been doing that since we've had chickens here, and it's time to clean this out, put it over into the garden. You can see our rows, we're, we're uh, filling those rows out with the completed compost. So when we do deep litter, it basically turns, uh, turns things into compost and really helps with um, reducing issues of, of uh, essentially hot litter from the or hot poop from the chickens it turns it into um, compost by combining it with wood chips in this area and you can see we've gotten to about here where we've um, cleaned out the the coop and put it into the garden or the run and put it into the garden but i'm putting down uh, charcoal or biochar i'll show you a bigger piece here this is what we made, and you can look at our, our previous video to see how this is made. Um, but this just crumbles down, it's extremely light. Um, but biochar, like, aka charcoal, um, is used to, or microbes uh, will go into the little tiny microscopic pores of this <clears throat> biochar and live in there. And so it's an incredible thing for your garden, for the soil, to, uh, a, it's an incredible amendment. But if I were to take this, take a whole bunch of it and put it straight into my garden, the issue would be that the, uh, the space that's there for uh, the microbes, it's so attractive to them that they actually move from the soil. They're going to move from the soil into this. And I don't want that. Uh, that's going to cause uh, real issues for my plants. So the, and that means those microbes won't be giving the exudates and the other things that the plants need to grow well. So you can really stunt your plants by putting this straight into the garden uh, without, uh, without getting that microbial activation in it. So what I'm doing is I'm actually putting it down, um, and then we're going to put wood chips and things in here. And uh, over the next year or so, year and a half, as this uh, sits and composts like we've done before, those are going to be uh, those are going to team with microbial life, and next time we clean out this coop, they're going to end up in the garden. I'm hoping that gives some more information as to how to use biochar, what to do with it. It's just our method. Other people have other methods. Um, <clears throat> you can drench it with a uh, a high microbe um, nutrient drench is another way of doing it. Uh, some people actually just put it in a bucket and pee on it. It works. Uh, it's a little gross, but um, that's an option as well. But we felt like um, this is really how we do all of our other composting. <clears throat> we take all our food scraps. Uh, we take free wood chips that we get from tree services. And we put them all into the, into the run for the chickens. They do all the work. We don't have to turn compost. We don't have to worry about if we have our nitrogen in... in uh, and carbon ratio is correct for the compost. If it ever starts to smell, we just throw more wood chips into the area, and that means we'll have the right carbon, um, and it breaks down over time. So uh, again, we have amazing compost. Let me show you once more in our garden. We have this compost. Uh, it's compost and wood chips, and we just add it on top of what's already here, and uh, we're gonna have worms and things coming up and digging that down in. Um, we could even let our chickens go in there and scratch it around a bit if we wanted to. But that's that's the process. That's how we do it. Uh, it makes it very low labor, very, um, very easy for everyone. All right, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave some comments. Let us know um, what you do with your biochar, or if you use biochar. We'd love to hear more about it.